Hello everyone, and welcome to Raging Cactar Plays Ghostmaster. I am Ghostmaster Sam. I'm confused, Susan. And, yes, you should be confused. You should be confused because I don't know. I don't remember much about this myself. But you are the master of ghosts, this is. You are the master of ghostesses, and I have no idea what to- Oh! Okay. Um, I vaguely recall this. Is... I'll let this one mm. Fuck it. <laughs> Is there anybody there? Uh, I think you have to enter a name or something, so... What is your name, name, spirit? Pick a name. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all those cheesy 90s videos. Probably early 90s? I don't know. I think this was a remake. I don't honestly remember. Yeah, that's what you get for thinking it was cute. And that actively describes the extent of this game, I think. Right. <laughs> to be fair, that'd be my reaction to it. Long intro. Right. I know that vision of the terrorizer. Spiders? Yes. Uh, so many questions. Okay. Okay. It just freaked out the for a minute. The following hunters okay. have been assigned to you. Treat them well. So, this is your starting town? Okay. There's the first house. So that's your home, like your home area, and that's where you're haunting. Haunting 101. Okay. okay. Alright, so you this are is how ready you do for this your movies. field training, young ghost master. We are taking you to the Kappa Lambda Sorority House in Gravenville University. Only a small number of sorority girls are in residence at the moment, but scaring them all away should be a sufficient test of your abilities. So your job. Before embarking upon a haunting, you must select your team of ghosts. To play the tutorial, which is highly advisable, click upon Recommend then upon Go Haunt. You can elect to assemble a team yourself, but you can only benefit from the tutorial with the recommended team. Okay. Welcome so to team. the mortal realms where all your haunting will take place. If you need to freeze time or abort the haunting, click on the menu icon bottom left or press escape. If you wish to turn the okay. tutorial off, but continue this haunting, click on the menu icon and select 
options. If you move your pointer to the edges of the screen, you will be able to move around the world. You may also use the arrow keys to move around. To rotate your view, click on the rotational arrows displayed on the screen. The view can be rotated left and right in 45 degree increments using these arrows. Okay. Use can that to move between floors. There you, go. you can use the up and down arrow icons, the page up and page down keys, or hold the right button while using the mouse wheel. There's a basement? Yes, there is apparently. There's not, there's no one Try there. rotating oh. your view by clicking. Good. You can also rotate your view through any angle by holding the right mouse button and moving the mouse. When you hold the right oh, mouse button, okay. moving the mouse left and right rotates the view, and moving the mouse up and down tilts the view. Thank you, lady. Leave the mortal pack alone for now. We will come to it later. You can zoom Quiet. in and out using your mouse wheel. Insert and delete will also allow you to zoom in and out. You may want to change your viewpoint to reflect your needs. A zoomed okay. out long view is good for planning. A closer zoomed in view aids in selecting specific mortals or assessing their behavior. Also remember that you may not see everything of importance without changing your viewpoint. Thank you, lady. To help you keep track of the mortals in each haunting, you have them. When you position your cursor upon a mortal's pack icon, a box appears informing you of their status. The red bar shows a mortal's terror, the yellow bar, their madness, and the blue bar, their belief. As you frighten mortals, their red terror bar will increase in size. The white portion of a bar shows a mortal's willpower. When terror exceeds willpower, a mortal will flee. Likewise, when their madness exceeds the white portion of the madness bar, they will go insane. To help you keep track of the mortals in well, each haunting, you have the mortal so pack. Click upon I'm a mortal's so image in the pack to view. Ex <clears throat> now you can see what she sees but you cannot exert any control upon mortals in this way. Either mouse button will return you to your usual view. Experiment with mortals for a while and huh. see what you can learn. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought about that. I never thought about that. Try locating a specific mortal by using the go to option. You can use this option to locate one. mortals in the haunting. Okay. Hmm. Why are you all down there? I mean, clearly there's all kinds of cool stuff in sorority house basements. Click on a bio so option to learn about a mortal. Here, you can learn what the astral records say about a mortal. Click the close button or away from the bio window to close it. Joe's a bit of a tomboy. Now we're aggressive. ready to look at your blood. team of haunters. The right. haunter pack to the left works much like the mortal pack, but for your ghosts. This menu gives you all the options you need in order to control your haunters. You can learn more about a haunter by clicking on Epitaph. Experiment with your haunter's options for a while. Boo is a spook. A versatile but relatively weak type of spirit. You can bind Boo to any room of a house by clicking bind and then clicking in a room where your pointer lights up. Using pursuit powers, Boo can it's roam to chase Boo mortals, effectively to changing his fetter in order to pursue. Experiment with your haunter's options for a while. Cogjammer is a gremlin, a plasm cheap and unruly spirit. You can bind Cogjammer to any electrical fetter. You should note that the flow of electricity in itself is not enough to constitute an electrical fetter. Lamps, light bulbs, and wires lack the subtle intricacy a ghost requires in a fetter. Okay. 
So he goes on electrical things. Clatter Claws is a horde, versatile and plasm cheap, but a relatively low powered and unsophisticated haunter. You can put Clatter Claws to work by clicking on her image in the pack, selecting bind, and then choosing any room as her fetter. <laughs> okay. Shivers Shivers. is a phantom, a mid-power ghost that can be bound to any emotional fetter. Okay. That was short. <laughs> okay. He's not as not as interesting. Okay. All right, so These are the go. haunter's powers arranged in order of their plasm bands. They work like a ladder. Clicking on a power allows a haunter to use any power up to that plasm band. Okay. So use more. These are orders, which you can use to give instructions to your haunters. Some ghost masters use orders to run a tight shop with their ghosts. Others prefer to let their team follow their instincts. Your haunters will become better trained the more you use them, and so can learn to use ever more complex orders. Experiment with orders every now and then. See what you think. Maybe you should set him to be using... Let's get some of your haunters into the field. Okay. Let's do to that, To exist in the mortal realm, ghosts must be bound to a fetter. When you point at a haunter, the fetters you can bind it to light up on screen. Note that boo and clatter claws fetter inside, so the borders of rooms light up to indicate they are fetters when you are binding these haunters. Your haunter arrives in the mortal realms, ready to wreak havoc. The glow indicates the that it is invisible to mortals at the moment. You can use the powers menu to change which powers your haunter uses to haunt. You hmm. now carry the haunter on your pointer, and any fetters that ghosts can use we show up in the haunting. Oh, maybe you need to set them to use powers too. Try giving more plasm to your haunters by selecting a ghost from the haunter pack, selecting powers, and then clicking on a different plasm band. Teehee, you're yeah. already asleep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you have to set up. Alright, so, so click on one of them and see if you'll give them the powers. So set it to like two or three. Because they won't use abilities. They won't use abilities unless you tell them, so like... Oh, she's up. You woke her up. The green plasm <laughs> bar shows how much plasm you've acquired and how much you are using. Up to the point a power was used, your ghostly presence was keeping the mortals on edge. From now on, the mortals will calm down if you do not keep scaring them. As they calm, the plasm will dry up. Don't say I didn't warn you. The green plasm bar shows how much plasm you've acquired and how much you are using. The dark green proportion of the bar shows how much plasm has been generated by scared mortals. The amount of plasm your bound haunters are using is shown in light green. For your next task, experiment with your haunters and their powers. Try to get one of the sorority girls to flee in terror. <laughs> what am I doing that, I think? Try the, um, try oh, downstairs. They're, oh, they're oh, all up here. Why are they all, so then give them, give them more of it so that they do something, like, if give that one your cases. cursor on a power in a haunter's power menu, you will see a description of what that power does. Yeah, so you just freaked them the hell out. <laughs> the bitch is running and freaking out. Quick, go downstairs. Hit him with the spider. Terrify the mortals by binding your haunters near to the sorority girls. Also experiment with putting your ghosts on different plasm bands. Dreaded dust! 
used to command the storms, dearie. But since I went and got myself sucked into this electric broomstick, all I can manage is this infernal sneezing. It'd be a different matter if I got free, mind you. I'd whip up a storm to wake the dead. So the more plasm you give them, the more effective they will become. Can you, can you, yeah, okay, so you can use it for this one. Excellent. See the sorority girls scatter beneath your might. Because a mortal has fled, the haunting fear level has permanently risen, giving you more plasm to spend. Move your, um, your crazy dude. He's just chilling in that room, not doing anything. Restless spirits can be found at most hauntings. You will be able to see their form even if their essence is trapped within an object. Oh, he has to be bent, binded to A bend. spirit cannot leave the, its feather it while the, its the essence is trapped, but otherwise acts like any other bound ghost. If the plasm cost is shown in red, it means you don't have enough plasm to activate that power. If you click on Restless Spirits, they will tell you their tale of woe. Listen carefully to what they say. If you can figure out a way to solve their problem, you can lay them to rest, allowing them to join your team. Can you... Okay, so if you can free that one bound to the vacuum, she'll join you. Yes, but how do I free her? I don't know. Maybe you put, what if you like short the, the back, like put the other dude on the vacuum, the electrical dude on the vacuum. No, she's down there. Come on, young ghost master. Find a way to get Weather Witch out of that electric broomstick. Bitch, like we know how. <laughs> right. What if you thunderclap or something? Maybe it'll. Oh, are they like hiding outside of the house? This really gotta... isn't hard. Why not look at your haunter's powers for clues as to what might help? Oh, they're in the basement. Fuck them. Alright, so find... Look at your... So it has to be something with the electrical one, right? Weather Witch is a Banshee, a mid-power haunter. This particular Banshee is mostly of use outside. Specifically, the weather control of this unhinged banshee soon became controlled by the weather, and now her mood swings as tempor temperamental as the sky. Alright. Uh, oh, you got another one. Okay, cool. There's gotta be. I don't know what the way to get around is. Wasted hate, housework! Get me out of here! You may, you Perhaps may be stuck a suitably here. empowered gremlin would be a good choice to affect machinery. You can't find it. Can you find it to something else in the room? And then have his electrical thing go off? That's another one. Spark, maybe? Um, Come on, young ghost master. Find a way to get Weather Witch out of that electric broomstick. What do you think I'm trying to do? Bitch, don't yell at us. We're doing this. Maybe 
maybe she needs to scare somebody? Like, how do you know? Oh, that might have That was it. I got it. She's outside. It's, there is one thing left to learn about. Plasm alerts. If you are using more plasm than is being generated by the mortal sphere, your plasm balance will go into the red and the alarm will sound. You will have a short time to cut your plasm costs by benching haunters or by lowering their plasm bands. I'm going to carry out a plasm drill now to show you how it works. Now, and taunters or lower their plasm bands until the crisis is averted. Quickly now, and taunt. Well done. That was only a drill, but you got things no, under control one. before it was too late. Reset. The next time that alarm sounds, it won't be a drill. If you don't get the plasm <sighs> under control, you will be kicked out of the mortal realms in failure. No, right. Combined. That's all I'm going to teach Please. you for now. If you want to know any more, consult your Haunter manual. The time has come to finish these paltry mortals. Scare all the sorority girls away to win! Huh. She freaked out. <laughs> ah, I run casually on the street! Two left. Drop them spiders. Learn which powers can build belief and batter down skepticism. You will need them. She needs blood. She's a vampire! Mortals try to find safe places to hide. If they think it's safe to be outside, you could use oh, Weather right. Witch to change their mind. Come on, crazy. You can look at a mortal's bio for hints on how to terrify them. Oh shit. That might have did it. Look at epitaphs no, to learn more about your reason. haunters. Yes. Oh no, she's upset. What the fuck are you doing up there, bitch? Hell no. No one's gone. So I'm enjoying this game. It's reminding me, it reminds me of like. The Sims, but I instead Position of just trying to be evil to accidentally, I'm intentionally Make being good evil. use of the available fetters. Run, bitch, run! Okay, there she goes. I think she had it. She's, she's right out. Right into the water. She's out, out. yeah. She's out. <laughs> Like, fuck that trash, I'm out of here. I'm... The more you use a ghost, the better Set trained off it will become. Be like crazier. Be like looking at her, I'll tell her she's a... You 
will be able to give complex orders to well-trained haunters if you wish. Maybe you can give him orders to like... Someone will run. Maybe just delete us how they're always doing. No, that is setting up to always do it. Even if you don't use orders, a ghost's haunting skills will advance and they will become more disciplined, intelligent, and attentive the more so you use them. Did you use all of the Weather Witches on um, she like at her max? Yes. Learn which powers can build belief and batter down skepticism. You will need them. Oh, you didn't even set to do anything. That's why I use it to do like very small stuff. Oh, you set her, okay. So Siren Song will lure her. So maybe, maybe set her to the front or something. Like that. Gotta go back inside. Mortals try to find safe places to hide. If they think it's safe to be outside, you could use Weather Witch to change their mind. We know. We're trying to get there, bitch. She went in the kitchen, I thought. She's hiding in the basement. Oh. What is she afraid of? Because maybe moving the spiders is it? Right there. You can look at a mortal's bio out. for hints on how to terrify them. She can't stand the sight of blood. Oh. Is something with a blood dripping on? TK Storm! Out. She's out. She did it. It's gone. She did it. Congratulations. You did wow. it. You should note that thanks to our time gate accessed via the high scare table, you can always retry earlier hauntings. You can go back wow. for training or to pick up restless spirits you didn't get the first time. You can spend the gold plasm you get for victorious hauntings to teach your haunters new powers. Just remember that once you have taught them a new power, you cannot change your mind. Don't say I didn't warn you. Now get out of here and go get your first real assignment. Make us proud, young Ghostmaster. <laughs> well then. So that was Ghostmaster. Something I did not expect. Yeah, that was a different experience, definitely. It like, honestly did remind me of, like, a lot. It, it feels like The Sims, except like I said, int you're intentionally being an asshole, and I love it. But yeah, that was Ghostmaster, so check it out. It's on Steam. I think it's only a couple bucks at this point. Um, but thank you all so much for watching. We will see you later.